Perth mechanic Michael Wright has unwittingly had an affair with a bikey's wife. He wants out, but the woman, Jacqueline Hinchcliffe, is obsessed with him. Well, I left the house about 6.30 to go to bingo with a friend, and Michael was playing, setting up his video as TV and computer to play games with a few of his mates. And I said, behave yourself. Um, and don't forget to eat. Oh, it's cooking tea. And I still remember what I was cooking for tea that night. It was sausages and eggs. And the front doorbell rang. Before he went to the front door, he, he made sure the recording was, the recorder was switched on. Now I, I looked at the CCTV and I didn't see anybody. Jackie knew the right house had security cameras installed, so she disguised herself as a man. Michael recognised her straight away. Hey, Jan, I have a Mike, what do you want? You. She made sure she put out around about six odd, six odd shells. One of them entered his lung and um, hit him in a fatal spot. It was extremely quick. Um, he was lying on his side. His eyes were shut. He was just shallow breathing. Stop breathing. Mm. <laughs> Still affects me today. Yeah, but not very long at all. Probably a few minutes. He didn't appear to be in pain. <laughs> I think he died a, a peaceful death. I'm pleased about that. <laughs> Jackie was arrested the next day. I believe personally she had to prove in some way, shape or form that she was worthy of being a wife of a coffin chair. And the only way she could probably do that was to commit the worst crime possible. Jacqueline Hinchcliffe was sentenced to 15 years for murder. Mark Hinchcliffe has served his sentence for assault and is now back in the community. Back in Sydney, even the comparatively glamorous world of Stephanie Roman, violence and heartbreak were never too far away. Her relationship with Bandito's president, Rodney Monk, was starting to unravel. Monk was going out without her rubbing shoulders with Sydney A-listers. He was even snapped for the social pages, beaming next to Amber Petty, Princess Mary's bridesmaid. Hawks wasn't meant to be out that night, and he um, said he wasn't going out. Then he went out, and then there ends up this being this picture in the paper the next day about him with Amber Petty, um, and, yeah, he got in trouble. Monk had also started bringing his work back home. I do remember the first time I saw the gun. What the fuck is that? Hooks knew that I didn't like guns in the house. It was just getting too much. Like, um, it wasn't glamorous anymore. It was starting to get really heavy. Um, you know, we, he was getting in more in angry moods. He wasn't wanting to go out as much. That party lifestyle sort of stopped. Like you're living on such a high, you're flying around everywhere, you're not caring about money, you're not caring about going to work, you're not caring about bills. And comes a time when you think it can't go on like that. Kind of goes, what goes up must come down, doesn't it? Oh, what Stephanie didn't realise was that Hooks was under enormous pressure. 
The banditos were constantly involved in bloody turf wars. One of the biggest occurred just three hours up the road. At stake was control of the multi-million dollar drug trade in one of Australia's premier wine districts, the Hunter Valley. It all started with an attack on local bandito's sergeant at arms, Ian Melder. Ian Melder is a uh, huge man in anyone's imagination and uh, built like the uh, proverbial brick shithouse. Whilst he was riding along the main road near Abermain, a four-wheel drive has moved up alongside him. A second car carrying reinforcements followed close behind. Of course, they realised that uh, if they got hold of uh, this fellow at the side of the road, uh, you know, three or four men were probably not going to be enough. As far as the bikies were concerned, the incident never happened. Melder later on denied that having occurred, uh, which is not probably uh, all that surprising for uh, anyone to investigate these things. Um, we were able to locate uh, two spent shell casings from a uh, .32 caliber uh, pistol uh, on the roadway where this was alleged to have happened, which lended, lent some uh, uh, support the fact that this has in fact occurred the way witnesses reported. That comparatively minor incident sparked one of the bloodiest turf wars in recent bikey history. The moment Melder told his mates what had happened out on the road, the battle for the hunter escalated out of control. And later, from parties and penthouses to gunfire in an inner city laneway. Stephanie comes face to face with her lover's brutal world.